stick my brush in there, stir it around. See how nice and luscious that is? Nice and creamy. And I'm going to scrape off all the excess because I don't need nearly that amount of paint. These last a long time. They can also be used for just regular fine art watercolors. Again, I'm not being too particular about where I paint them because as you see, um, with one paint job, I might get between five and 20 stampings, depending on the weight of the paper, how absorbent the paper is, and how much water I spray on it. Again, I'm gonna wick out the excess water. Let's go with purple. See, now this one, I think that that's, I'm sure, actually, that that's gonna be a little bit too thin. Even though it's getting creamy, it's still just a little bit too thin, okay? So that's not the consistency you want. You want to wait. I'm going to let, leave that for another five minutes and it'll be perfect. Again, dirty water, clean water, even though clean water looks like dirty water. And uh, if you want it to really glow in the dark, you can use olive oil water. <laughs> okay, so I'm stirring this one up. And I just chose this one because it looked like it had a little puddle in it. So I'm not being afraid to really gushy the paint again to get a smooth consistency. And this is on the thin side also, but this will this will do. This is about as thin as you want to go with this. So I'm going to paint the excess off. I'm going to do the rest of my, my leaves. And I've done some really hideous color combinations before. And what happens, which is kind of cool, is as the, the paints start to meld, the first ones might look really ugly because the colors don't match, but as they start to meld with each other, they actually look kind of nice. So let's see what happens. 